We're gonna send this big double out for that. Ten ounces of lead, ten ounces of bait, maybe a pound. Actually going downtown. Well, we're trying to do a stack. We've got a rod going down the back. <laughs> There's four fish. I gotta release them. Hey! Oh, that's another good one. Alright. Couldn't have scripted that one better. Right, Brian. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Good fish. That is a medium rod, so. Oh, no, that's a Bring that, bring that. Oh, horrible net drop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh my god, I goobered that net job up, guys. The, the daggum. He dove as soon as I put it down in the water. Oh, rookie. So what an idiot. And the sinker slide got caught in the net, and it was sliding up and down. Thank God I didn't get stuck. So I was like pushing the net down to the fish with the, with the slider up in it. That's a big one. High five, bro. I believe he's pushing, yeah, 30. Maybe a little more. Little fish stop biting. Little, I mean, 20s to 30s. And uh, we got some big daddy. We knew we just had to get us a fish. Whoa, brother! Well, good morning. We are here at the illustrious abode of sausage McMuffins because Brian needs some food and he ain't been up this early to go fishing in forever. We just finished about an hour and a half drive down here to the Tennessee River and we are chasing floodwater blue catfish. Flathead catfish are in this area pretty heavily but the water temps are real real low so the likelihood of us catching one of those is very slim probably going to be blue catfish hopefully some big giant slab nasties and uh, maybe a striper or two i have no idea i've caught all of those in this section of river we're going to start out fishing some places that i've caught fishing in the past and after that we're going to mark some heavy cover for these fish to sit behind and this this current we've had those big giant crazy snows in the middle of uh january here in knoxville like 10 inches plus of snow and then we've had just solid torrential downpours for the last three or four days after that so it's melted all that snow and we've got three inches of rain so chickamauga dam spilling watts bar dam has been spilling uh, all the other dams are running at max capacity so we have lots and lots and lots of current and stained water so i really like that for cat fishing and uh, we're going to start out fishing the deeper section of channel bends just to see if we can pick up some fish in the heavy flow. If they're not there, then we're gonna move out of those areas into maybe the inside bend out of the current. And uh, look at this beautiful son of a gun. Brian is here with breakfast. Breakfast. We go on fishing. Mm -hmm.
Brian's on with the first fish of the day in the Flecktorn German jacket. How'd you wise? Oh, it's a little baby. Little baby. He goobered up the first fish of the day. Well, there's the first fish of the day. Something else get hit? Let's see that belly on him. Turn him sideways. He fat. Yep. He a little chunkster. Yeah, they they gorging. They gorging. See it. All right, my turn. <laughs> right now I'm scanning this ledge, you guys, and we've marked some fish. There's bait and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. A second ago, we could see fish moving up and down the bait, inside the bait. There's a big cat right there. So we're going to anchor up with the trolling motor, spot lock it, and cast back to them and precision anchor on them back out that way. Okay, so we've got a spot locked about 74 feet away from this waypoint right here. And I mean, there's fish all up and down through here moving. It's kind of on a side channel. And we're going to take this drift sock and put it out back behind the boat. And then that trolling motor's nose will keep us going forward. And then that drift sock will keep the back from swaying, especially when we're fighting a fish. Let's see what we can do. What do you say, Brian? Yeah. All right, so we've got some fresh skipjack. The ones that don't have scales on them, we use for striper fishing. But the ones with scales, we did. But So this was a pre-hook skipjack. He was stressed out, so he lost his scales. But we're gonna do some anchoring now. Different cuts of bait, all different sizes. I'm gonna put a small one on the spinning rod. But I'm fairly confident we marked some stripers to feed those cool together chad there. We marked a couple real big cats on the bottom too. We're kind of where um, a smaller river meets the secondary channel of a main river. And uh, there's a lot of gizzard shad, bait fish of some kind down there. And there were fish going through eating them all along the ledge on the side of the hole. So we're just going to fan cast our baits out. And then we're going to give it 30 minutes or so. Like, we got so much flow and there was so much activity that... Uh, I don't think it's going to take super, super long. And yeah, so we're using all big cat fever rods. We got a spinning rod here. And then the bait casters, the majority of them are these Akuma Komodos. They're my favorite all around reel because you can just use them for everything. Uh, this is the 470 size. This is a 7 to 1 gear ratio, so it's a little bit faster. And then we got the Hellcat heavies. We had some heavy current, so I broke out the heavies. And then we got the OG big cat fevers, medium heavy to heavy. So we're just gonna chuck the baits out, wait, give it 30 minutes, nothing happens, move to the next spot. Didn't even get all the rods out. I had two bites already. This is a pig. I mean, he slammed it. So that, that went down to the water. What? So that about went down to the water, he slammed it. This is a big fish. It's rip and drag. Just slammed it. We had just gotten the sixth rod out. We got two more to throw out, two or three, and spinner got bumped already. And this one just got destroyed. I knew those were active fish because I saw the schools of bait, and the schools of bait weren't um, like uniform or like big balls. They were spread out, and you could see the the, the big fish moving through the schools the streaks so they were feeding and that's how you know when you've got actively feeding fish um, so. feel like a cat or a striper oh this one's going down too right here that one's about to go down that's a big double bait right here let it go down brian i'll once it goes down i'll i'll reel down on it and we'll switch out he's swimming with it we'll put this in the holder immediate doubled up you ready? Yep. You swimming upstream with it? Not moving so much. Sorry. That's gonna go down. Can you put it down? Oh, he's there. He's on. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. You guys are gonna have to give us a second. Uh, I'm gonna put the phone in a tripod. Just keep holding it, Graham. And we're gonna 
Is he still on there? Oh, I think he got off. No. no. He's just coming at us. Or swimming off to the left. I mean, I, I got a good hook set on it. And there's people shooting sandhill cranes. Oh my goodness. I knew we were going to get whacked. Okay. Be careful. I don't want my phone to go in the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Did you see that? Running with it. Pulling drag. Pulling drag. Give me that, uh... Here you go. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take the one on the left. Yep, get the one on the left. We're going to put this in wide angle. And just get this going. All right, guys. My GoPro died. That's why I'm having to do this. I don't like having to do this. But it is what it is. Get this stuff out of the way. This is what we have to deal with as YouTubers. Like, it's, it's easy to easier to just go catch fish but when you're out here trying to make a video for you guys and your equipment messes up yeah that's a big fish all right let's see how this okay that looks pretty good all right um we're gonna move this up here is mine still on is mine still on Oh, yours is already up. Okay, mine's still on. Ryan's already got his in. We're about to. You can probably throw the hook in. Mine is going to require a net, though, I think. Oh, Remember, yeah. you got to watch that tripod behind you. Yeah, I know. Alright, We're going to grab mine. I think mine's a little bit bigger. Oh boy. Yes, sir. The Hellcats are putting in work this morning. That's a 22, 23 pound fish. Don't even have all the rods out. Double does, baby. Oh, those are good. Yep. Get out of the way here. So those were catfish feeding on those schools of gizzard chads. Okay. You might have to net that one. I can probably bogey grip them. Okay. Bring them around the net. Or get it tangled in the net. Mad Catter Hook's getting it done. Once again. Yes, sir. Got it. There we go. Not a bad double. Not a bad double. That's how you do it. That is the first. Watch out, Brian. So that is the first two minutes of baits being in the water. Minute, bam, double. 20 plus pound fish. That's how we do it. And it'd be cool if we tripled up. So we'll be back with you here in a second. We hold these fish up. Let's see if we can't hook another one. All right, guys, we're back. We tripled up. Triple. triple. Hey, 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 triple, baby. It's another good fish. Oh, gosh. Now he decides he's wanting to do something. Holy crap. We are hooked up. I think I had it wide angle. This is another 15, 20 pound fish. Six rods in the water. Three went down in the first two minutes. <laughs> just pumping them up that's what you gotta look for guys if you've had low flow for forever oh it's a good one yeah go another 20 plus if you've had low flow for forever you get a bunch of rain and it starts spilling all the dams and the water gets stained and you get a nice warm day in the winter it's gonna be game on There's a pushing 80 pounds of fish. Go ahead and get this uh, net out of the way. Put that thing up in that front rod holder. We are going to throw out all 10 rods here and just sit here until they stop biting you guys. Because they are cash money on. Oh, yeah. 
great fish. This is on the medium action Hellcat. I threw two of those out just for fun. Yeah, baby. Brian's boga gripping them. Grab that leader. Oh, yeah. You got him? Fish numero three. We are quadded up. Can I reel down on it, Brian? I think it's in there. This one right here, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Is he there? No? Bring it in. Well, we missed that one. We've got a mess in the floor, you guys. Just a just a mess. And we just lost one there because we were messing around. But we'll be back. Alright, we're gonna weigh all these guys real quick. This first one is 23 pounds. Second one is 18 pounds. Third one is 20, 20, about 24 pounds. So, pretty wacky, pretty wacky. Just like that. Now we need a, a 70. Okay. All of these just in, into one. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to stack these on my lap and let me take a picture of them with me. Well, we're trying to do this stack and we got a rod going down the back. <laughs> There's four fish. I got to release them. Hey, guys. Look up. Hey. Oh, that's another good one. All right. Couldn't have scripted that one better. You're up, Brian. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. <laughs> well, we tried to do a release video, but uh, we got rudely interrupted by the fourth in the quad. Okay. All right. Go to your right, Brian. I need to get I think, you. I think we're here. Are we? Yeah, this one feels better. That one just got bumped. Which rod's he in? I think maybe this black one right here is spinning. <laughs> this one's a lot better. He's either better or he's just tangled, off. tangled in all those lines. Yeah, see how that black that line's coming in? Yeah, it could be in all three of them. I think it's in all three of them. Yikes. Great. Great. But look just how beautiful it is out here, it's you guys. Blue, right? Whoa. That's a big boil. He ain't in any of them. No. Those could just be other fish. I mean, look how beautiful it is, you guys. This is what we do here on Top Knox Fishing. No drama, no bad vibes, just fun times. Well, he's tangled. He's tangled? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, we got... That one was just about to go down right there behind you. All right, guys, we got to untangle this sucker real quick. Well, we're just gonna put this up here in the tripod, you guys, because odds are something else is gonna get hit. All right, what's what's he tangled up in? Where is he tangled? Oh God! So we're gonna have to cut him. Let me get the bogus. Crazy. Alright. You guys watch the rods for us. Oh, he's clamping down on me. Get my hook back. So just uh 
find which one goes to. Oh, hooked up, hooked up. That's a quintuple. Yours is in that spinning rod. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gosh. This one's head shaking like crazy. This is nuts, y'all. I ain't got a clue if you can see me or if you saw that takedown. But if you didn't see the takedown, you, you weren't doing your job. Your job was to watch the rods. Oh my goodness. This is a good fish. Well, I told Miss Katie that I may or may not go to the skating ring with them tomorrow, depending on how fishing was today. It looks like we're going to be going fishing again tomorrow. Assuming we don't run out of bait. Did you just get whacked in the face? It's a little better. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. So they're, they're very active. We just need a big dog to roll through. Grab that leader line, it's 100 pounds. Brian is very, very rusty at fishing. He ain't been in like two months. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your crack is all the way out. That's a cool, that's a fat sucker. That's the biggest one so far. We ain't even had time to whip out the daggum net yet. Holy crap. You got him? How much weight? He's got to be over 30. Let's see. He is 20. He's 29, 30, somewhere in there. Not bad. God, he's fat. They are gorging on Shad down there right now. Just gorging. We're gonna cut right there and then I'm gonna restart the video. All right, we're back again. Back again! And we, once again, don't have all our rods out because we keep catching fish. It ain't a bad problem to have. It ain't a bad problem to have. Let me look at this. We are once again back recording. About a 30 pounder, mid 20. Crazy. That one hit while I was trying to release the three stack, and that one hit when we were trying to untangle that. So, yep, we're gonna keep it recording while we're unhooking here. It's there. Most definitely feeding. They are right on this ledge, too. I mean, right on it. They're eating pretty big baits too, so we're gonna start cutting bigger pieces now. All right, um, let's just cut. back in the boat all the rigs You guys can see this. 
slowly reel on him. Put that hook in him. Yes, sir! Hooked up. Oh, we got fish going everywhere. Fish everywhere. Fish everywhere. Okay, yep, that got all that on camera. He's just coming at you now. We, we haven't even had a chance to get stuff unhooked from the second. Just right. a little guy. Little guy. Little guy, that's all right. He's a boat flipper. Look at him eating that big double bait. Well, that's the second triple of the morning. Okay, so that was either the second triple or a quintuple. So six fish. Here's the biggest one. He's about 30 pounds. We're going to let him go. Hey. Here's this one. Another mid-20. Another mid-20. Fat boy. We're going to let him go. See? And then here's the dink. Brian's little guy. There we go. The football. We finally got our rods back out. We don't get bit in 15 minutes we're moving because they're active. I just got to find more schools of bait and fish on them. We may have caught all the ones right here. We may just, we either may bound down or may just go back up a little bit on the same ledge. I don't know. We'll see. Brian's got one on this big double. Put that hook in him, Ryan. Put it in him. Put it in him. Got him. All right, pull it out. You got him. Yes, sir. Ooh. Big head shake? Good head shake. That might be a flathead the way it bit. Okay. He's pulling pretty good over there, the action. Yeah, that drag's probably cranked down. Look, this one might yeah. be about to go down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Another double. Yeah, got it. Hold on, you guys. Well, I put the phone in the the mount here i turned off the camera and i had a giant takedown peel and drag while brian was fighting his fish and it just pulled off because we thought it was just his snag but it was not it was not his fish snagged very sad we're gonna throw us a whole bait there we go baby there we go we're gonna send this big double out for a ride 10 ounces of lead 10 ounces of bait, maybe a pound. She's going downtown. Brian's got his, oh God, oh God. He has become an absolute freaking rookie. <laughs> an absolute rookie at fishing. He's not done it in so long. All right. Let's see him, hold him up. Doesn't even know how to hold a fish anymore. That's Neither a fat cat. That's a fat cat. All right, toss him back. He's good. See you later. Pass her back. You can get her. Get him. 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 You got him. Oh yeah. Getting some spinning rod action, baby. Oh yeah. Big head shakes. Big head shakes. Yes, sir. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. It's a good band. Big old cat. Is he snagged or is that just weight? That's just weight, dude. No way. All right, well, let's loosen the drag. Oh, God, that was locked down. Whoops. That's just a big fish. You may have a big one. I may regret giving this one to you. Come off. Just real. Brian's on noob mode still. No. You still there? No. All right. Guys, we're gonna have to put this in in the this thing again because he's gonna need my help on this. I need a cameraman. I need a cameraman. What's going on, Brian? Yeah. Which one? Step down the floorboard there so that we can see. I'm gonna have to help you out here. That's gonna be better, I think. Go down, go real, real. Come up over. Good job. We're gonna do it again. That's gonna be a good 
good fish, Brian. It's gonna be a good fish. That's a horse. That's a big daddy, I think. I'm gonna take that that way just a little bit. Maybe I'm a good one on you guys. Slowly start to work them up. Yep. Nice and slow. Brian's doing a great job just easing that fish up. I'm gonna move this rod up here just so I can miss. There you go, good job, buddy. Oh, good fish. Yep. That is a medium rod, so. Oh, no, that's a good fish. <laughs> bring back, bring back. Oh, horrible net job. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I messed up. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Come up, Brian, reel. I messed up, you got a reel? Oh, he's going on the run. I messed up so bad. Reel, reel. Oh, I messed up so bad. Real? Real or real? Oh, this is a horrible net job. You said sucker. Come to me. There we go. I got him. Oh my god. I goobered that net job up, guys. The the daggum. He dove as soon as I put it down in the water. Oh, I'm a rookie. Up, what an man? idiot. And the sinker slide got caught in the net and it was sliding up and down, thank God. I didn't get stuck. So I was like pushing the net down to the fish with the with the slider up in it. That's a big one. High five, brother. I believe 40. he's pushing, yeah, 40s. Maybe a little more. 40, 50, something like that. Little fish stop biting. Little, I mean, 20s to 30s. And uh, we got us a big daddy. I knew we just had to get us a fish, a big one. Oh, brother, yeah, that may be 50. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Big fish in the boat. Big fish. High five, brother. Welcome back. Welcome back to the pig sled. The 15 minute timer just went off and he's got, that fish is pushing 50, I think. He got a monster in the boat. All right, guys, I'm thinking this fish is close to 50. Our bogus go up to 60. I don't think he's gonna go over 60. 55. 55? Let's see. Yeah, 55. There we go. Solid fish, brother. Solid, solid, solid. Give me a high five. Hell of a fun time on the spinning rod. Finally we got a tank on yeah, the spinner. I was just that, waiting. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to get this 55 pounder up. That's a that's a hefty fish, my guy. He's just beating him up, beating him up. All right, let me give him some pictures real quick. All right, there's Brian's horse, 55 pounds. Let's see this. Just look at the belly on this thing. I mean, if that fish was longer, that's got the girth of a 80 to a 90 if we just had some more length on him. He's sick. Take him on this side over here so you don't break my depth finder. Just stand inside the net, or that's fine. I'll get up here. This is what we do, guys. We release the big fish so that we can catch him again, brother. All right. I don't regret giving that rod up because that was my turn. Like, I'm actually, absolutely, actually, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm elated Brian got to catch and fight that fish. But also, I would have really liked to fight that fish on a, the spinning rod, spinning too. Rod. Yeah, like the spinning rod is just fun. Like, you're undergunned, and like, luckily, there's only one tree here, apparently. It's over there, because I've had to break off two rigs on it. So he was relatively safe. We didn't have anchor ropes down, so we were okay. But uh, what'd you think about that, my guy? Very nice. Very nice. Here you go, hold that. Go, go, go. Are you still there? Got him. Got him. Not a heavy? Yeah. It's a good bend. Yep. Not bad. I don't think he's that big. He's coming at me. He's moving pretty easy. Yeah, he's 20. Just 20. Maybe less. He's probably 15. I thought it was going to be monstrous by the way it like started to slow take down. 
How many fish is, are we up to at this spot? In like an hour and a half. Ten. Ten. So we're 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 over 250 pounds, I'd say. He may be deep. I just got these heavy Hellcats, so I'm, I'm not the most sure how big fish are on them yet. Where'd the bogus get to? They're over there. Oh. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. We had a double in a while, but the size average is going up. Here, I'll, I'll get them. I got them. I gotta redeem myself for my poopy, poopy net job I did. But he ain't going anywhere. That is that net job from earlier is a testament to Mad Catter's hooks. That fish should have come <laughs> off like four times there. But it didn't. I mean that hook is in there. That's a fat fish. Yeah, that's good. He's pushing. He's over 25. Oh yeah. Not bad. Look at that hook. And my old head bait. Old head. Okay. Hold him up there. Hold him up there. He's wanting to be all curly on me. Go ahead. it. Oh, fat daddy. Oh, fat daddy. Good fish, good fish. Good fish, good fish. All right, I'll let him go. Oh, watch it, watch it. You're on the run. Step up. Oh. Actually, take my picture with him. He's fat. All right. Well, let's weigh him on the bogus. What do you say? Here's this fish. Here's this fish. Here's this fish. Oh! <laughs> he bit that crap out of me. Let's see what he weighs. Followed up Brian's 55 with whatever this one is. Open your mouth, sweetie. There you go. Having trouble. The hardest time in the world. Putting it in. Sometimes it be like that. Not for me. <laughs> How much is he? He is 20, 29, almost 30. Good fish? Yep. Got a belly on him. That belly. I'll let him go. Can't go on my grippies. Yo. Goodbye. Brian's turn. I don't know. We got two getting. They were. What we got going on? I don't know. Everything getting bit. Y'all, we just moved spots, and I, I have three rods in the water. Four. And spinning rods already going down. He's swimming to the left with it. I need you to hold this, Brian, so I can... Quick. Spinning reel. Look, this one's going down too. This is a little guy. That one's about to go down. This is fighting real weird. I mean, the bite's on fire. My debt finder's messing up, so we're just going off some old waypoints right now. Looking at good structure. This is another neck down area where the, the channel narrows really really abruptly there's a flat off to the right and a deep hole off to the left this was a dink oh he's got that line that's what's going yeah. on but i mean i didn't even have 
I mean, I literally had rods and wire for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds, slam a jamma. Whisker hook. Yeah. You got some really spiky fins. Really spiky fins. You'll help me out there a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's the first one here. Get him back. See if we can't get something big, big. Oh my god. I can't get this one out of the holder. <laughs> well, guys, we barely just missed a takedown on that. That one got absolutely slammed. You're up. Take oh, it. Here, let me move this. This is your fish. I mean, we got two rods in the water. There you go. That's a jumbo. Oh, yeah. More, more drag. That's a jumbo. Well, we're going back in the handy dandy phone holder here, y'all. I mean, this is gonna, this is shaping up to be one of the best days of catfishing I've, I've ever had. Brian's hooked up. I'm trying to get baits in the water, you guys. That's just critical when you've got, can't even. When you've got an activity period of fish just biting like crazy, you gotta get baits in the water and have people fighting them and just get them back out as fast as you can. This ate, I don't know, what what was that? A head or a chunk? Brian, uh, you remember? Head. head. Big old jumbo head bait. So this should be a good fish. This one feels good. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't get it out. even head checking. He's just pure hogging you. It's just pure weight. The, 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 the channel's a little bit more narrow here, so the... Uh, the fight's gonna be even harder on it. And I'm just getting weighed out. Brian's pumping that fish. Go ahead and step down the floorboard for me. You coming up? You have to fight them left around that anchor or that uh, drift dock if you can. We're gonna throw this out. I mean, we ain't even got four rods in the water. Here, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Brian's doing his own juking and griming, whatever you want to call it. But that fish hit it hard. Hit it real hard. I'm going to try not to mess up the net job. But we're going to need the net on this fish. Brian was just cutting baits for us. And it got shlamma jammed. Let's go left with it. You got a big one, boy? I think you got, my phone's gonna die. And none of my battery packs are charged. He doesn't want to stay down. I mean, you got a big fish, my guy. You got a big one. 30 plus. Solid, brother, solid. Head bait. Gosh, oh, I didn't move. Get, oh, that, get away, get away, get away. Brian. Oh, no, it's the same thing. Brian. You did that. He came out. All right. We got it. Holy crap. Oh, that's 40. Dad gummit. I keep giving all the big fish to Brian. <laughs> 40 plus. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. High five, brother. Bam. Uh. Top Knox fishing, baby. Hand me a big head bait real quick. I'm gonna throw it out there. Big old double bait. Double bait? Yeah. We gotta get a couple more rods in the water. We're just gonna leave it rolling again, guys. While we're doing this, Brian's gonna work on getting them unhooked while I'm throwing the rod back out. These catfish are tough. They can survive forever out of the water. And uh, it's the winter, so they can survive even longer. So. 30, 40 seconds in the bottom of the boat, no big deal. No big deal. We're gonna chuck this big bait out. See if we can't get slammed on that one. That fish came up on top of the flat where it drops off into the deep. The deep starts about right here and over. So 
They're they're active up on the flat. It appears. Oh my goodness, we're getting bit. We getting bit right here, Brian. Is that the boat moving? Uh, well, there's pressure on it. It ain't a slam and jammer, so we're all right for right now. I gotta take this remote off so I don't hit it and make it go goose to it. Brian's about to weigh that fish on the boat because he got him unhooked. He may be 50. I don't think he's 50. That's a big belly. I'm thinking 42. 38 to 42 is my guess. If I was, I'd have That's to put money on it. It's built like a tank. It's built like a tank. What's he weigh? Turn around to the camera. I was on the money. All right. Well, we'll get a picture with him and a video. And we'll be right back after we get the picture. But we'll let you look at him in the floor. Big old horse. Yes, sir. Brian's going to pick this horse up real quick. Let's see him. What was he, 43? 43. Rotate to your right a little bit. Other way, there you go. Solid fish, solid fish. Look at the head on that thing. All right, dump him back right there. Dump him back right there. See ya. Gone. Next. We just gonna let him sit there for a second. He took it down, I gotta tie this back up. That's a big double bait. He already slammed it down, he's on there. We're going to see how good these mag catters hook are. I think they're pretty good. He's just chilling. No, he's just, he's just on there. One thing he could do if he puts enough pressure on it is rip the hook out of his mouth. But we'll see what happens. He's still on there. I'm throwing our final bait out, y'all. I mean, I'm gonna reel me in a toad. Wait, there's another one right there. That one's on. Well, dang <laughs> it. Doubled up. Oh, all, all over the place. Crazy. Right, I'm gonna throw that over there. Take them on the right because that one hit first. That's fair. Yeah, you don't care. You already had a crazy day. Brian's like, I, I'm good for the day. You don't want it. All right. I got this net out of the way, you guys. We're going to lay it right here. I need a bigger boat. You on there? I might have picked the right one. Really? That's the, is that a light rod or a heavy? Nope, that's a heavy. So is this one. This is a heavy too. Doubled up. Come on, big boy. Get on up here. Oh, I had the drag crank all the way down on this. That was not great. <laughs> the drag was locked on a Pen Fathom 25. Less than ideal. He's in this line to the left because I fooled around too much. This is a solid fish too. I couldn't sleep last night, you guys. I was so excited. You got a big one? I'm going to put mine back in the 
rod holder for a second. I think it's the medium. Mm. No, it's heavy. It's shiny. Oh god, Brian. What? He's got, we're gonna have to miss that one. He's got his mouth like lashed up together. Oh. Bring it to me. Reel down. You got a reel. Okay, my turn. Let me get mine. Let's rotate this phone around a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm burning up, y'all. Oh, they feel pretty good. Nope. I don't know. No. Just wrap. Yeah. Grab a. Yeah, grab those. Here, I got it. Grab my rod. That's the only time you can say that and not be gay. I'm solid. He's close to 20. Brian's is much bigger. That's the first time he's ever heard that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, this rod's about to go down, you guys. And we got these in the floor. Triple number three. That's going to be a big one. Hit him. Hit him. It's already peeling back. This is big. You want him? Yeah, I'll take him. Oh, let me go put the phone up. It is. Yeah, just keep fighting for a second. I'm going to let Brian do his thing. Hold on, I'm getting my camera up. All right, we back. We back. He is? He's going to be a big one. See if we got it wide angle. We do. Okay. Well. Big fish. Big fish. Got him. This is a large one. Oh my god. Yeah. Just down, baby. This is gonna be a netter. Yeah. They're in the net right now. Trying to come out way out there. That's weird. What is this? Acting really weird. Maybe it's a flathead. That'd be cool to get a flathead today. Open them up, boy. Wait for another one of these rods to go down. What is this? Double number three or four? Three. Three. I think. Yeah. Or triple number three. Not double, triple number three. On fish all over 20 pounds. If I were the left or the right. Uh, to the right. We got left Go ahead and yeah, put that net down. And... Yeah. Well, he's doing. This one's going down now. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Right here, guys. This one isn't as big as what you thought. He had some big heads to it. He's good. Watch this one, you guys. You're up. We're going to rotate the camera around. Can you put it down? Dang it. Oh well, okay. Well, we're gonna keep it right there for now. Just put a wheel on it. The camera's 
carried it to us. He carried a long way. That fish ate it and swam up. Where is he? He's on there. Dang. This one's just got a giant head on it. Yeah, just give me the grippies or the. They get the focus on that for the. Goodness gracious sakes alive! Another one. That's crazy. This is just stupid. No other way to call it. And yes, I'm throwing this bait back out. See ya. Back on the drop off the rock pile, the flat, it's got all of it. Well, there's a big giant double, goodness gracious. All right, lay one of them down and pick one of them up and hold them sideways. I caught one of those, but I'm too dang tired. I'm making Brian do it. He's covered in slime. There's another horse. There's another horse. Very nice. Let that one go. Mid 30. See ya. He gone. Slow down. All right. See how much that one weighs on the bogus. Is that the bigger one of the two? No, it's smaller. How much is that one? 24. 24? All right. So that other one was mid 30s. See ya. Very nice. And then we got this little guy. Go ahead and just pick him up. Oh, he's tearing him up. That one's probably 19. We just doing this on a little pig sled. You ain't gotta have a super nice boat to have a day like this, but it's a whole lot more comfortable if you do. Very nice. See ya. Gone. Gone. Oh my God, he just pulled the thing around. Here, hold my phone. Oh my God, that's gracious. He pulled the whole thing around. We can't, we just released that giant triple and now I got this thing on, whatever this is. This is white. Oh gosh. I think it just came off. Still there? He He's way downstream, dude. Is he on? Yes, he's on. Oh, buddy. Oh, goodness gracious. There's another toad, dude. Might have been a striper coming on sale. Now, because he's not like barreling running. That's why you need left hand thread rod holders on this side of the boat, which I don't have. So that doesn't happen. But we like it janky here on the pig sled. And we like catching big fish. And that is what we're doing today. So it's a dandy when it works out like that. Here, I'm going to come down below you. I was like, what's that sound? Here, watch out. You're going to get tangled in. In this one. No, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. He went over the top of it. This is a good fish. My phone's about to go dead from fighting all these fish. All right, I'll put this in the holder. We just released close to 100 pounds of blue cat. Nah, probably 80. Oh, goodness. This is a good one, B. Holy 
Holy crap. There's another solid fish. Another solid, solid cat. Oh, he's getting spread up and down with me. I like that. I want him to dig, though. I want him to pull some drag. Another pushing dirty. We got some, we got some. Another big fish. Goodness gracious, y'all. Goodness gracious. Well, this may end up being uh, one of the, at least for pounds of fish, uh, highest pounds of fish a blue cat caught on video. Other than somewhere like the James or something. But we're just slamming big fish we haven't caught a monster yet we ain't caught like a, a 60 or a 70 yet we got a mid 50 55 ain't bad that ain't bad 40 in there too 40 in there too lots of mid 30s lots of 20s Getting <sighs> hard for 500 pounds by now yeah we're over we're probably over 500 pounds by now i'd say i haven't kept track i should have i was had the intention of doing that but it just got too crazy well, my phone's about to die. Oh, 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 oh. He's on it. He's on it. Reel down, reel down, reel down. There he is. There he is. Bingo. Got him. I'll try to keep him out of this other one. Good luck. My phone's down to 12%. Yeah. We're going to give it another 20 minutes here, and then we're going to tell you got a little bit of break and go charge everything. Brian's just horsing them in now. I think he is wrapped up. Oh. Yeah, he's in it. He is swimming off to the right. Yummy. We've got to be over 500 pounds of cats this morning. We're somewhere near there. Oh, oh man. This is going to be a mess. Brian's working them up a mess. What just happened? Did he just go? I think that line went into something. All right, I might have to turn the phone off for a second, guys. We have just got a mess from hell on that fish, but we got it out. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. That is just a mess. Oh my gosh. He ain't even getting held up for a picture. Well, trying to stick me. Yep, yeah, he's a little butthole. See ya. You're up. Dang it. <laughs> well, I gotta get that rod, you guys. Hold my phone, Brian. That's a big bait. He's taking it slow. What's going on? Did he put it down or does he still have it? He's still got it. Oh, he's swimming down the ledge. <laughs> There he is. He ain't very big. That one came up on top of the flat. Well, I got him up underneath this other rod. I ain't throwing this one back out. <laughs> you guys, my phone's at 9%. It may die during the process of filming this. So, uh, we're just going to get this fish in and Leave this rod in the boat. Let the old boy in. Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Is there a munching on it? Well.
Oh, he's got some sharp teeth. Give me my hook back. Switch camera. This one's the other way. Well, there's that one. Probably 14, 15. Something like that. See ya. That was a beautiful dive. <laughs> I'm not throwing that rod back out. We got some bald eagles up there. He way up there. You can hear him though. Where'd he go? There he is. No, that's him. I think. Yeah, that's him. That may be a jumbo. No look. Another boat's coming back. Yeah. Go down that sucker, Brian. Get him. Got him. You got him? Is he decent? I don't know how tight that drag is. Tight. Locked down. Whoops. That hook ought to be in them pretty good then. We're about to get waked to death right now. Step on down. He's got him. Got them all hooked up. I uh, bet he's 30. You think? Brian's tired, like physically. Yep. Yeah. Only two. Coming off a night shift. But we out here anyways, and we've got well over 500 pounds of catfish, I think. I mean, he's still... He is. Come on, you big ninny. Sit down like you're shark fishing. Pump them on back there. <laughs> We're having just a heck of a time, you guys. The spot lock ain't liking all these waves and current and flow and everything crazy going on here. You gonna get him in? Is he pretty big? Oh, he's in that one line. Dang. Probably why it feels. Here, go over the top of it. Go over the top of it. Real tight, real tight. Just go over the top. Over the top of the tip. Should be okay now. Yeah, he was just came around it. We're good. All right, we gotta break out the tripod. One second, you guys. Actually, we're going on a commercial break. We'll be right back. You got another old good. Nice cat, nice cat. I don't feel like whipping out the tripod, so. That one's too big to flip, bro. Yeah, I'm getting He's getting the grippies. Got him. Oh, dang. Bigger than I thought. Nice. He's not bad. He's pretty good. Solid fish. I'm betting he weighs 23. Maybe 25. Yeah, I'm thinking 12. Literally 25 on the nuts. Yeah. Another solid 25 pound fish. Very dark nice. One. Dark, dark, dark. He's a big daddy now. Let go. Let go. See ya. Do we have another one? Take it down, you little dink. 
Well, he's hooked up. Is it my turn or yours? It's yours. Dang it. <laughs> I'm real them in, guys. The old pen fathoms a winch. Ugh. Ready for a bait clicker run? That really gets me going. <laughs> I think every catfish in this lake is just feeding like crazy today. I mean, it's been every single spot. We came up here to hopefully get on some, get on a bigger fish. I've gone downhill. darker up here for some reason. Weird. That hook went through his dome. How much do you think he weighs? 11? Hey, he got a little bit of a belly on him. What do you think? I think 11. Price is right, man. Do 10.1 yeah. or 10.9. He is 12. Yeah. 12 pounder. Not bad. That's one of the smallest ones of the day, right there. Quick release. See ya. Well, we've got after we leave this spot, we've got enough daylight for maybe one more spot. Bait. I mean, we've caught two fish on this bait now. It's kind of torn up. <laughs> Throw it back. Throw it back. <laughs> right. Just send it. How am I gonna hook it? I don't. I don't know. Let's see if I can figure it Just out. put both hooks in the head. <laughs> we got a frog bass bait. All right. Let's see what we can do. further up in the <laughs> I mean they ought to still get it. If they want to eat it, there it is. Cowabunga. That was a that was a damn fine cast, damn fine. Beautiful. Glad you guys got to come along with Brian and I on this little fishing adventure. In beautiful East Tennessee. This is one of the days that everybody dreams of, and we are having a blast. While the sandhill cranes in. migrate. Yep. Last spot of the day, we got a creek mouth and a bluff with a lot of current. We're in this bubble trail, this white bubble trail, and that indicates really heavy flow right here. So we're going to anchor up right in it and see if we can't catch a toad.
Washington in first. This is uh, one of the prettiest things I've ever seen, you guys. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, you guys can't see the, like the pinks and stuff that are in the air. It's just wild. Just crazy. Well, we're hooked up, you guys. This is a good fish, holy crap. This is a really good fish. We moved to the head of an underwater island. Well, you can kind of see the island way down there, but it comes out like three football fields and we're right on the tip of it, casting up into 15 feet of water, picking up these fish that are moving active on top of the point, or what I thought would happen, and it did. And this is a really good fish. He's gonna be a big guy. I said, all right, Brian, we're gonna do one more spot. We caught a 15 pounder at the bluff, uh, creek mouth, didn't film it, because we caught a billion fish bigger than that today. I said, all right, one more spot as we go back to the ramp. Never fished it before, but it looks good. And they're active, so we know they're gonna be moving up and down these points and feeding areas. And uh, here we are. He's a big guy, I think. He's not really doing much, he's just kind of like staying down. He's trying to come. I don't know what he's doing. You gonna go left with him? Yeah. I may just try to find him right behind the boat right here. Oh, he's coming up. There he is. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Wowza. Yes, sir. Oh, he's peeling on now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That fell. That fell. Oh, he came off. He came off. No. Damn it. Well, we had to lose one today. That sucks. Yeah, that fell over Brian. And it just got slack for a second. And... There she went. That, oh my goodness. Last one of the day. That's all right. Up top, you guys. We just threw it back out from where that one came unhooked. That's a double bait. Oh, we put it down. Daggum it. No, he's still there. You still there? Yep. yep. What a hot bite today, you guys. Crazy. I don't know how big this is. He, he's coming at me. This fish is barreling the head at me. They're on top of this point. That's the deeper side of the point over there. The head of this island. Significantly smaller than the last one. But that's all right. I'll get him in the boat. He ate the double bait. Not bad. Not bad. He's skinny. That's the skinniest fish we've caught all day. By far. By far. About a 12 pounder or so. Not bad. We'll let him go. See ya. Same rod. Oh my god, we just threw this one back out. Brian, you're on one end. Oh, that's all you, dog. Are you tired? <laughs> yeah. 
All right, sure. I'll reel them in. Well, the head of this island's active too. Goodness gracious, we've been here 10 minutes and we caught four fish. Crazy. I'm surprised these rods haven't really got hit yet. It's all on this left side, which is the steeper side of the drop off the tip of the island. It's a little bit flatter on this right-hand side. I bet as the night progresses, they'll move over to the right-hand side. But we ain't going to stay out here that long. We've caught so many dang fish, and we're starving. and tarred. We had a blast. It's been beautiful out here. Absolutely gorgeous. And we just... Working in another one. Come on, buddy. Dragging them on it. Skiing them back. Twin. Except this one's fatter. I got him in the cheek. By the chin. Damn, he's fat. Been active today. They got full bellies. Full bellies. They're gonna be like this all weekend. They got a break from that winter cold front. Getting everything they can. Yep. Look how fat this thing is. Now that he's not blown up with air. He came out of 15 feet of water. That is shad in his stomach and bait fish. I mean, that's all that is. I can feel it in there. He is eating like crazy. We're gonna release him. I'm gonna throw one more bait out and we'll sit here for a few more minutes, but we about done, y'all. We about done. If I don't catch anything else, or I'm not back later. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. This has been the most epic day of blue cat fishing, numbers and weight wise, I think I've ever had. We're over 600 pounds. We may be seven. I don't know. I've just lost track of how many fish we've caught. And they've all been big and good size. Like, we haven't caught anything under... We caught one 12-pounder, but everything else has been above that, up to 55, 56. So, I'd like to get one giant bite, 170 or 80. But I'm happy with what we had. And we got to share that with you guys. So, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you later.